Hey guys, this is Tabitha and today I'm going to show you how to fix the uh, problem with Safari that says that Safari quit unexpectedly and won't reopen. Um, this is actually my little sister's computer and she was downloading some music and accidentally downloaded a malware called the Genio. And I don't know if uh, you guys have the same exact problem but I did some research and I found out that most of the people that were complaining about Safari not reopening um, could be fixed by doing this, what I'm going to show you right now. It's a Genio malware. She downloaded it accidentally while she was downloading music. Um, she did remove it from the applications folder and apparently it took away some other components, but there is still some components in the computer that we have to get rid of in order to make Safari work properly again. So I'm going to show you where these components are, okay? Um, as you can see, Safari is not working, okay? Um, here is uh, the report. I'm just going to scroll it down. I don't know if uh, you know anything about computers. I don't. I did some research to get to this, but I'm just going to scroll it down so you can see what it is. There you go. Um, here, I have the list of places that Genio will have like components in different places. So here I have all of the, the places that you might find or might not. I didn't find uh, Genio pieces in all of these places especially because my little sister had already erased them from over here, like I said. But I'm going to go through each one of them so that you can find out if you have them or not, okay? So first, you're going to go to the Applications folder and see if you find any of these. Genio, Reset, Search, or Uninstall Genio, okay? Um, this right here. If you don't have it here, I don't have it here. Uh, move on. Uh, now we're going to go to the Library folder and go to these folders here. Okay, the library folder are these addresses here. I'm going to put all of these uh, links in the description, but um, let's see. You're going to go to Finder, go, go to Folder, and you're going to go to this address here. Okay. Uh, here, first thing before hitting these up over here, we're going to uh, delete the sum Safari related uh, P lists. Uh, and then to do that, you're going to have to go to your preferences folder. So, library, preferences, and anything, any P list related to Safari, you're going to have to delete. I already did that. Okay, so here you're not going to find anything. So, Apple preferences, Apple security, security, make sure anything that says Safari is deleted. Okay, now we're going to go to the Launch Agents folder, okay? So go to Finder, the Library folder, and then we're going to go to Launch Agents. There you go. Here, bingo, Genio, Innovation, okay? I only have this one, so... I'm just going to throw it in the trash. I'm just going to ask for my, her password. Delete it. Okay. Um, you might find any of these three here. I only found that one. This one here, that's the innovation. Okay. But if you see anything, any of these in your launch agents folder, make sure you get rid of them. Here we have uh, launch daemons folder. We're going to delete uh, anything that we find. So let's see, oh, there you go, another one, another innovation, put the password, get rid of it. Okay, the next uh, folder we're going to hit is library privileged helper tools, okay, go here, go down to P, privileged helper tools, see if you find anything, oh, uh, there you go, another one. Day dream. Okay. Now we're going to the hidden library folder. Okay, and to do that, we're going to go to Finder again, go to folder. And 
There you go. You're going to type in this address here. Okay. Now, um, we're going to go to application support, the application support folder. There you go. And here, we're going to find this folder here called com dot genio blah 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 and again you're going to get rid of it okay you're gonna go to launch agents and see if you find any of these three over here and if you do get rid of them launch agents look at that I got all three of them delete them again they're everywhere. And then the last place you're going to go is the USR directory. And you're going to go to Finder, go, go to Folder, and you're going to type USR. Okay, now look here, USR, but then you're going to go to lib, lib folder, and see if you find anything in there. So I already checked because you see they are kind of a pain to kind of look, go through, scroll down. I didn't want to kind of bore you guys. So take a, take your time because there are many, many files here. And I, I would check these folders too, but I didn't find anything here. Um, so, okay, make sure you don't have any of these and delete them. These are more of a pain in the ass to find actually. It took me forever. But there was none, so you might not find anything. And then after you do that, you're going to have to go to your framework. Framework. Frameworks, yeah. Frameworks folder in the library, okay? Let me just show you where it's at. Go. Go to folder. You're going to go to the hidden library folder. You're going to go to... Frameworks is not here, it's the other folder. Well, I have actually a program that I clicked on to show all my files, so to make it easier. So I have all my files shown. Go to Frameworks out of the library um, folder, and here it is Genio Extra.Framework. Make sure you delete that too. And then. Mm -hmm. Delete it. Okay. All right. That should be it. Once you have deleted all of these, uh, if you click on your Safari, it'll go back to what it used to be. Uh, it took me a little bit of research. Um, I found not. I didn't find that much information in the Apple forums or anything. That's why I'm posting this video. So if you have the same problem, if that's what happened with your computer, make sure that you follow these steps and you should be fine. Um, and watch out for the Genio malware. Okay, guys, I hope it helped. Thanks for watching.